Have you ever wondered if one blockchain could hold another's entire history? Meet Matthias Bemcourt, the uh, technical director at uh, the Cardano Foundation, who recently pulled off an astonishing feat. Intrigued by the challenge, he encapsulated the entire Bitcoin blockchain within a solitary block on the Cardano blockchain. His groundbreaking discovery was shared via a tweet, sparking excitement throughout the blockchain community. Introducing Merkle Patricia Forestry, a new era for data management. And behind this achievement lies a new open source library called Merkle Patricia Forestry, uh, developed by Bancourt. This innovative tool set includes on-chain and off-chain tools uh, designed to work seamlessly with Merkle. Patricia tries on Cardano, and according to the release documentation, these tries function as a highly efficient and secure hash map. Uh, the documentation explains items are represented in a space-optimized tree, a Radix 16. The hash digest of their keys provides the path to values in the tree. With this approach, Merkle Patricia tries offer diverse applications including managing large on-chain registries or providing expansive Oracle data sets. Unraveling the secrets of Merkle Patricia Forestry, uh, key features of the Merkle Patricia Forestry library encompass swift membership, insertion and deletion of any key value pair in a massive database. These processes are enabled by a compact root hash digest, just 32 bytes and succinct proofs under one kilobytes. Inspired by Ethereum's modified Merkle Patricia tree, the library presents a novel methodology for arranging nodes as a miniature sparse Merkle trees. This ingenious design leads to significantly reduced proof sizes while preserving the library's core functionalities. Bancourt acknowledged the trade-off, acknowledging that the optimization requires some memory and CPU resources, exploring the capabilities of Merkle Patricia forestry. Uh, through a series of insightful posts on his social media platform, uh, Ben Court delved deeper into the library's implementation and capabilities. He revealed that Merkle Patricia Forestry comprises two components. One part coded specifically for smart contract utilities in Aiken, and another tailored for off-chain procedures in Node.js. Uh, essentially, Ben Court explained this is an authenticated data structure uh, for mapping arbitrary keys to arbitrary values. Uh, yet it is, it is done in such a way that it is possible to perform certain operations from only a small hash and a succinct proof without needing to carry the entire data structure. For those versed in blockchain tech, Merkle Patricia tries resemble simpler structures like Merkle trees, commonly employed for list representation and membership verification. However, MPTs expand upon this foundation is permitting key value pair insertions and deletions. Ethereum leverages MPTs for its state and transaction storage, empowering light clients to access account balances sans carrying the full blockchain. Overcoming the challenges, reducing proof size. Uh, traditional MPTs face a common hurdle, large proof sizes, uh, which can exceed multiple kilobytes for substantial data sets. Although acceptable for off-chain tasks, uh, excessive proof sizes pose challenges when dealing with on-chain constraints. To address this concern, Bincourt's implementation uses tiny sparse Merkle trees consisting of 16 items per level, essentially embedding trees within tries. Um, by employing this structure, sizes, uh, proof sizes are dramatically diminished, offering a uh, favorable compromise between proof size, memory, um, consumption and CPU efficiency. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next exploration into the fascinating world of blockchain technology. Who knows, maybe we'll discover something even more mind-blowing. And here's a little joke for you. Why did the Bitcoin blockchain join a gin? Because it wanted to get a proof of stake.